Hello, this is Jen from Newton's Neck Designs. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a close-up look at our brand new cozy themed product release. With the winter months approaching, it's the perfect time of year to stay in and get cozy and that's what this release is all about. It's jam-packed with cozy coffee mugs, books to read, a couch to sit on with your pets, everything you need to have an enjoyable cozy day in. I'm going to walk you through each of the new products, give you a close-up look on what's included, and then I'll show you a couple of projects I created for some inspiration. So stay tuned to see it all. To start out, I'm gonna talk about our brand new coffee-themed hot foil plates. We have a fun coffee bean hot foil plate, which is just a big long strip of coffee beans, perfect for adding a background, to any of your coffee theme projects. And then we have a mug that says coffee is always a good idea. Such a fun sentiment. And this one comes with a die too, so you can foil the image and then cut it out using the coordinating die. So let me show you how that looks. For my first card, I created this fun shimmery green cup using the fo hot foil plate and use the coordinating die to cut it out. And then behind it, I put a piece of vellum that was cut out with our circle frames die set. And then behind that, we have the uh, coffee beans hot foil. This hot foil isn't quite as shiny as this one. It's more of a, a matte chocolate color, but it works great. You can even see kind of a little bit of raised in there too, like a lot of press effects, so it's so pretty. And then for the scalloped edge, that's our frames and flags die set. I made a second card almost identical to the first one. I just changed up the orientation to make it vertical instead, and then um, used a slightly different colors. On this one, I foiled the teal colored mug using a piece of um, ivory colored cardstock. And this uh, teal foil isn't quite as shiny as the green one, but you still can see it's got a nice shimmer to it. And this one behind here is the same color as that one, um, but then I, I foiled it onto a darker colored cardstock. So you can see how you can get lots of different effects by changing the paper you use and the layout you use. Next, we have our Coffee Silhouettes die set. So this is a die set that includes um, a whole bunch of coffee mugs. These ones have cute little stitching detail on them. And then you get the little whiff of smoke, you get or steam, I guess it would be coming off the coffee. You get a nice little whipped cream you could add on them. Uh, these would be great for doing tea or cocoa as well, if that's more of your thing. And then on this side, we have this little to go mug. So this is the liner you can put on top and the lid. So lots of fun options for those coffee lovers. Using this set, I created this fun birthday card. Again, I used that fun hot foil, a coffee bean in the background on two different kinds of paper. So you can see in two different kinds of foil here, this is a gold and that's that chocolate colored one again. So you can see how fun it looks when you mix and match the different foils together. Um, and I used two of those mugs, the ones with the stitch detail up here and added the little whipped cream toppings to the mugs. And then I used our circle frames die again to create a couple layers of circles to layer it on over the coffee beans. The sentiment sending you a birthday brew is from our time for coffee stamp set. And then I stamped that onto a banner that was cut out using our frames in flags die set. So super fun birthday card. You could change the colors to be any color you like and it would be just as pretty. I also created this fun card that shows the cup, more of the cups that you get in the set. And this was fun to create. I just cut the whole thing out in multiple colors and then I arranged them until I got an arrangement of cups that I thought was really cute. Um, I added the little heart on the fronts of a lot of them, um, the little steam coming out of the top, and that stitch detail is super fun too. So it's so fun to mix and match these different pieces together to make coffee themed cards. 
Um, in this one, I used uh, a sentiment, a cup of things that I embossed in between all of the mugs. Um, that's going to be on the next product I'm showing you. And then for the edge, I just used our framework die set to give it a fun postage shaped edge. So, so many fun things that you can do with these coffee mugs. They can be the star of your card, or you can combine them with other things. Next, we have our heartfelt coffee stamp set. Now we have a whole series of heartfelt uh, stamps. Um, there's everything from Valentine's Day to Christmas to fall, just a whole bunch. And there's a dog and cat ones too that are this heart shape filled with fun little icons. And then you get a bunch of sentiments. And all of these um, fit in our heart frames die set. So this large heart here, you can cut out with the largest one. You can cut it out with the scalloped one. And if you want, you can even cut it out with the next smallest one. It will cut off just a tiny bit of the edge, but it still works really great. And then all of the words in all of these heartfelt ones also fit on our banner trio die set. So you can do a rounded edge banner, a fishtail edge banner, or this one that's a fishtail edge, but then also pops up. So it's got these score lines. So you could do a raised banner. So make sure you check out our heart category on our website so you can see all the different options that you can use with these. So for the newest one here today, uh, we filled it with coffee. We have some fun to go mugs with a heart, some polka dots, a few things with some whip topping, stripes, all the fun things that you like about coffee. Super fun to color this image too. And then for sentiments, you get I heart coffee, Java, nice day. How have you been? Perk up soon. Thanks a latte. A cup of thanks. And birthday brew. So this set is super versatile. You can use it from a thank you to a get well, um, just a happy hello, or a birthday card. So so many uses you can get out of this, especially if you know people in your life who like coffee. And I'm sure everybody knows somebody who likes coffee. Using that set, I made this pretty card. Um, I colored all the images using Copic markers and fun shades of teal, red, and neutrals. I cut it out using the scalloped heart. And then behind it, I used this larger stitched heart to frame it. Behind it, we have that coffee bean foil again, so you can get a little bit of fun shimmer. And then Thanks a Latte was stamped and cut out using the Banner Trio die set, and then just some fun ribbon on the bottom. So you can see how fun it is to mix these new products together. Next, we have our Cozy Home stamp set. This stamp set is filled with everything you need for spending a cozy day in. We have a cute little armchair that you can fill with a dog or a cat, or just simply pillows and a blanket. Perfect for having a cozy day. Next to it, you could add this cute little end table. And on it, you could put a stack of books, a vase with buds, a teapot and cups, or a candle. And then of course, we have a basket that you can set beside the chair filled with more blankets and books. So just perfect for that cozy home feeling. This set was inspired by the Danish word huga which means cozy and comforting, something contented, staying in at home. So kind of the feeling um, of this set was inspired by that. So you have a sentiment that says, Huga, hello, have a relaxing day, wishing you a day filled with, and then you can add warm drinks, cozy blankets, good books, and furry friends. All of our favorite things for staying in. You could send warm and cozy wishes or a cozy thank you. So lots of options for creating cozy cards to give friends. Here's a card I created. I used the armchair image twice and colored two chairs, one blue and one yellow. And then 
inside the chair. On this one, we added a pillow and an orange kitty. And on this side, a blanket over the arm and a puppy. So a couple of cozy friends staying in at home. I also added some books, the end table with a mug, and the vase filled with buds. So super fun way to create a scene. And on this one, I did use the long sentiment, wishing you a day filled with warm drinks, cozy blankets, good books, and furry friends. So it's a fun way to break up the sentiment. I put half of it in a banner and then stamp the other half right on the card. So that's one way you could create a scene, but the ways that you could mix and match all these items is really countless. I can't wait to see what everybody creates with it. Um, and in case you're wondering, this scalloped edge and the banner are from the Frames and Flakes die set. Super cute. You can see how you can get lots of little dimension by cutting everything out with the die. Next, we have our Newton's Reading List stamp set. So Newton is enjoying a day in reading some books today. He's got a whole stack here and one on top that he's currently reading. And then you get to choose what he's reading. So he could be reading The Guide to Feline Fine, Nine Lives and How to Spend Them, The Secret Life of Birds, Zen of Cats, The Art of Napping. So lots of good titles if you're a cat, things they would definitely want to read. And then there's a paw print and a heart that you could use also to decorate the book or just on your creation. And there's a die set available. Um, includes the book with the cat and the paw print and heart. With that card, I really thought the secret life of birds was fun, so I went with a bird theme on my card. I colored the image um, and added it to sort of an outdoor scene. I used our hills and grass stencil to create a grassy edge and our cloud stencil to create a cloudy sky. Then I took our Retro Sun and Palm stamp set, which is a summer set where you get a sun and a, there's like some birds up in the su sunny sky. But I used just the birds from that set and I added them to this sky. So he's sort of out bird watching or, or wondering about birds on this fun card. And then for these cute little pattern papers, those are from our Cat's Life paper pad. And then I used our uh, Sky Borders die set, which has a nice little scalloped edge that you could use to make clouds, but in this case, I used it just to make a fun little scalloped edge. So super cute way to use that set. Now, depending on what message you put on the book, you could definitely change up what your card looks like. And these would just be fun cards to send to a friend who likes cats who might get a kick out of the fun book titles. And we couldn't leave out the dog lovers, so we also have a puppies reading list book um, stamp set. So this one is very similar to the Newton one, but this time we have a puppy wearing his glasses, getting ready to read. Again, he's got a little stack of books and the one that he's reading, and you get to choose what he's reading. So we have How to Walk Your Human, The Art of Fetch, Pause and Reflect, Mystery at the Dog Park, or 10 ways to earn more treats. So again, some really fun titles for the dog to read, things the dog definitely would wanna read up on. And again, we have a paw print and a heart. So another fun set uh, for this time for dog lovers. And there's the coordinating die that's available, cuts out the main image and the two smaller ones. So just another fun way to create dog, dog cards. Let me show you what I created. So I chose to do Mystery at the Dog Park for my dog card. And this time I used our A Dog's Life paper pad and just picked out four papers I thought went well with the way I had colored the books, um, ones that kind of matched the colors in my coloring. And then I layered them in the background and then I used our circle frames die set to kind of frame the image and make that pop off those fun background papers. So this would be a great one to have too, to send to anyone who likes dogs and would think that the book titles are funny. So just kind of a, a more whimsical, fun way 
to share cards with your cat and dog loving friends. So that's those cards. And let's just walk through the other ones I made again really quick. So we've got the cozy home. And then all of the coffee themed products. So I hope you have enjoyed this closer look at what we created to this month for you. It's been a ton of fun to work with these new coffee and cozy items. And I hope that you will go over to our shop and find them all and give creating with them a try. Everything will be under the new category at this time, um, but you can always search under the coffee. There's a coffee category. So make sure you check that out. If you like coffee, we do have lots of other coffee themed products. Um, I didn't show it today. I did show the dog and cat paper, but there's also a coffee paper that would go great with these two called Coffee House Stories. Um, so there's lots of things you could mix and match uh, to create some fun, cozy cards. Perfect for a winter day in. So thank you for hanging out with me and listening to this video. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and be notified when we get new content because you'll definitely want to see what we're up to next. So thank you so much for watching and have a great cozy day in.